Apple says that the Department of Justice's lawsuit is misleading. Apple said that it hasn't ever suppressed third-party app developers, and it also said that it doesn't have a monopoly in the smartphone market. That's because Apple says that the Department of Justice is relying on its market share by revenue to talk about whether it has a monopoly or not. Apple said that it's more accurate to talk about its market share by units. Apple says that when you're measuring its market share by units, that it only holds a little less than half of the market. The Department of Justice says that Apple has a 75% market share in something called the performance smartphone market, and that's a higher quality smartphone market, more expensive smartphones. But Apple said it's never heard of performance smartphones and that this isn't actually a thing. Apple has maintained monopoly power in the smartphone market not simply by staying ahead of the competition on the merits. This is important because the Department of Justice's lawsuit against Apple is one of the biggest antitrust cases facing big tech right now. There are also two Department of Justice lawsuits that are in works against Google. There are also two ongoing cases by the FTC against Facebook and Amazon. The Department of Justice has been investigating Apple for the last few years, and it's important because Apple really does dominate the smartphone market, even if it doesn't necessarily have a 70% market share. The idea of a smartphone is basically synonymous with the iPhone. So if the Department of Justice is successful in its lawsuit against Apple, it's gonna lay the groundwork for regulators to come after our other big tech firms that dominate other markets. So another thing the Department of Justice is honing in on is the fact that Apple doesn't make SMS, which is a more universal messaging protocol, available to its third-party apps. But Apple says that those apps don't really use SMS anyway, so it pointed to the fact that WhatsApp and Signal, two messaging apps that are popular on iPhones, don't even use SMS on Androids. This case is gonna be going on for a really long time, so there's no reason to think that the DOJ's lawsuit is gonna affect Apple's business in the short term, but it could have big impacts on big tech in the long run. Thanks for watching, check out QZ.com for more.